I'm going to take you for the quickest demo possible because I'm going to show you how to create a new semantic model with one click. Okay, let's start. So what you see here is you see uh, at scale design center at scale design center is um, all a it's a web browser based uh, modeling experience. What you see here is you see a model called Internet sales. I can see it's uh, it's canvas and it's um, it's object oriented view. And I can see, of course, the code that makes it up behind the scenes. You can see all my metrics, dimensions, etc. So whether I want to build it with code or build it with uh, visually, I could do that. You can also notice that uh, this is made up of a data set. And this is fact internet sales. And what you see is you see different conform dimensions. So if I look at that customer dimension and I just go ahead and edit that, what you're seeing here is you're seeing that my customer dimension is actually another canvas, another embedded model that includes two other embedded dimensions, including that geography dimension. The geography dimension is made up of four different uh, snowflake tables. And that is how I come up with this hierarchy of geography city and geography zip. Okay, so you can see that a lot of care and feeding has gone into making up these very um, nice uh, dimensions and conform dimension objects. These are all objects in an at scale semantic model. Uh, I can see them right here. Here's the objects themselves. And you could see that uh, at any of these objects like that product dimension, what you see here, uh, you can see just like I saw on my main canvas, you can see that there's the, the uh, code version of it. You can also use uh, our property panels to, uh, to update that dimension. So if I'm creating a new model, I, do, I really do want to make sure that it takes advantage of all of these great relationships that you see here in orange and also takes uh, advantage of any dimensions that already exist. So we now have the ability to create a model from scratch uh, with one click. So all I need to do to do this is uh, to recreate the model you see here is I can just come into my data explorer. So here I have two different data sources. Here's my Snowflake data. You can see it's uh, there's my database called at scale tutorial data. There's the schema and here's fact internet sales. So now if I click on the hot dog menu, what you can see here is you can see this generate new model um, uh, uh, menu option. So all I need to do is go ahead and do that. And just like that, you can see that uh, at scale using AI actually generated a whole new model. So there's my new model. I could, of course, I can now name it. And then here's all my hierarchies um, and relationships all hooked up. So you can see very much, there's my new model. It has all of the same characteristics that you saw with my other model, but I got it with one click. So imagine any kind of data that you have in your uh, in your your cloud data warehouse. You can now use one click and ensure that besides saving time, you can be assured that you're going to be able to reuse all these great objects that have been contributed on your behalf or on the behalf of other semantic modelers. So that's a quick tour of AtScale's one-click modeling. Thanks for listening.